Live from the Tri Jam Studio in Woodbury, New Jersey, this is Tri Jam with Kyle Mack, Shay Davis, and Will Wright. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hey, what's up? We back, bitches. Yes, we are back. All the bitches. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm do, not a bitch. Do, 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 do Shay real quick. Mm-hmm. That shit had me in tears. What did I do? Come on, do the. He don't remember. My boy. Do oh, this. oh yeah. Right. We're back. We're back, my boy. We're back for Chai Chai Podcast, my boy. What is that? <laughs> Wait, so oh, hold on. Before we get to that, uh, you 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 see her, you hear. Her. Uh, she is filling in as a guest host. Y'all give it up for Stormy P. Yeah. She's with us. You know the listeners just can't hear this this unrecognized voice. Oh yeah, I forgot. Sorry. Yes, and when I say unrecognized, I mean unintroduced is what I meant. Ooh. But yes. So okay, wordplay. S- Stormy P is here. Thank I'm you. here. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, you guys like twist like stirring iced tea somewhere? What's that? <gasps> Nothing. You know, like, you know what? <laughs> I'm sick of you already. I was Will, I have had up, enough. Don't shoot. <laughs> Was it you or was it Shay? I just want to say God is good. Okay, all the time and all the time. God is good. Not man. today, because yeah. I seen what you was looking at. First of all, was uh, it porn? No, no, it wasn't, sir. First of all, it was not porn. Mm-hmm. Um, it definitely was an ass set mm-hmm. to the community. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it was an ass. No, it was it was a cowbell. That was it. <laughs> okay. Cowbell. It was an ass with a cowbell tattooed. Yeah. It, it was, was a heifer. I heard it. A heifer. I didn't put it there though. I just the heifer. Yeah. <laughs> but as far as that, like the mamba thing, that was uh, we just determined that sometimes Shay doesn't finish the consonants in his words. No, no. <laughs> Even no. though boy doesn't have a consonant at the end, it's a the way he says. I just say it vowel. quickly, quickly. Just, is it mean? like uh, mid stroke or is it just a uh, just from time to time it pops up? It's like time to time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Time yeah. to time, mamba. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> time to time. Funny. Time to time. Little country thing. That time half like, to time. That shit sound like Jim Carrey. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, we're here. It's it's uh it was a interesting weekend for me. What well, what you do, mm. Cal? Because I had that a, bull. A great, I had a great interesting weekend as well. I uh, I crossed that threshold. Damn. Booty play. What? Oh, wow. sorry. Why? Damn. Damn. Sorry. What is going on? That's crazy. What is going on? Thinking you was thinking that. that? That's crazy. It wasn't just me. What is going on? You gotta use your words better. You gotta, yeah, you gotta choose. What is better. going on? I'm sorry. I didn't realize How about that. How I just do? I did something new. I, I, did, I didn't realize that cross that threshold was a so. Uh, it's a damn. Hole. It's a hole. What, did anyone think that maybe he tried a new flavor of coffee? No. Exactly. Not off of what you said. So what was the I turned 30. That's what. I crossed the threshold over the 20s into the 30s. Okay, okay. And I don't know how I feel about it. We got a couple of 30-year-olds and older in here. Shay's the only one in his 20s now. Oh, my God. I'm the young bull in the room. Holy shit. Well, not right now, but ain't what's name? Kev. Well, Kev's not here right right now. Kevin Ward's not here. I know right now, but ain't Kev. (laughs) Yeah, Kev is, I don't even think Kev's in his 20s. He is. Don't do my friend like this. He's 21. He's got to be like 17. (laughs) He do look like he's. He needed permission to go to, to the right. Store Stop it! I feel like he needs he, to get permission for like a lot a of things. Still Stop need to get it. dropped off into the skating ring. <laughs> He's probably like, "Hey, baby, can I go to this thing?" <laughs> Just Don't do my friend like that. That's the last one. All his That's the last one. It's a public place, like <laughs> like the bowling alley, like right. Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> you so go down there. He's not here to defend himself. No. So you're 30 now. Your back start hurting yet? You know what? I've I you know what? The late twenties is when start when stuff started to feel like they were coming off. For real? Like like my knees don't feel good all the time. For real? You can I, tell when it's about to rain. Damn. I feel like it has a lot to do with military <laughs> stuff though. <laughs> like I have bad military knees. Yeah. And, he used to, and he used to they used to fight with these Q tips back then. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, and it, it fucked him up. So he uh <laughs> he hasn't been the same since he's been fighting with the you ever remember the uh, what was what was the name of the show? Uh uh, American Gladiator. American Gladiator. Mm-hmm. Remember that? Remember them cute tips they were fighting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Apparently, when you go to the Air Force, that's what they, that's how they teach you how to fight. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. All it's right. It's real dangerous. That so. explains a lot, actually. That's, Makes sense. It really is. That's why they don't go to war. It, it's actually all the branches do that in basic training. Not oh, just for not real? just Air Force. The Army, yeah. Army does it too. Okay. In okay. fact, when we started doing those jokes on the show on uh, the podcast originally, the clip that was brought up was of two Army trainees doing it. Mm. Mm. Was guys, they mocking y'all? Or? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it could have been, really. But no, 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 no. <laughs> Look at these bitches. Yeah. <laughs> So now, nah, but yeah, uh, that's what. Yeah, that's why he probably fucked up. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Third. I know when I turned thirty, my knees gave out. Right. Yeah. So it's the same problem. Now that's, no, that's that's. I'm not even laughing. That's not even. A, I tell it on stage as a joke, but that really fucking happened. That's crazy. Like I had a show, and when I got off stage, it was my actual birthday. So we went. To, I went back to my room to go grab my to change up. So we was going to the club. <laughs> and my man knocked on the door. I started walking to the door, and my leg gave the fuck out. The and Lord all, set your ass all, down. All you heard was ah, and nigga said, "What's wrong with you?" I was like, "Yo, my leg gave out." He was like, oh, "Nigga, you 30 I'm like, "What? This that's shit work shit. immediately?" That's some shit, right there. <laughs> yeah, that's how that shit was. But yeah, yeah. I went to Dallas, which was cool. That's for, right. You did mm. go to Dallas. Yeah, I was. Uh, I went yeah. there. There. What's, what's happening to me? I don't know. Maybe A lot of shit's happening to me. What happened in Dallas? You got your last. No, I did not. Did you go to the strip club? I did not. What? No. What I think I need do? to have like a like a, a balling out like crazy ass 30th, 30th celebration. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. I'm, I'm down for what, it. What I what I did do was I um, take out. I had some. I'll show you the fuck out. Bro. I went over to Dallas and, and hung out. Thank. I need to say thank you to my my good friend Krista, who um, I know from Tops and Blue and the Air Force and stuff like that, uh, and my. Tour mate Jamal, he was there as well. I got to hang out with them uh, and the, the Temptations and everything over there. And God so, damn, Kyle. so it was it was <laughs> treat her like a lady. <laughs> did, did y'all see my man's Instagram? Nah, I he's up there doing the dance moves in the in the box, my boy. Oh, so you perform? Wow. No, 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 no. I was so uh, I saw the concert. There was a skybox in the venue that oh, we watched man. from. He was up there dancing. And I, got, I got going. I was, I was real selfish this this weekend on uh, Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. You sound like you I mean you were busy. Super yeah, he had a, a popping event that happened. Ooh. Phenomenal. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Phenomenal. Shout out to R and B and Chill. Yeah. We killed it. Where we, was it? Uh Dubai Nightclub in uh Camden, New Jersey. Okay. The headliner was um I have a question DJ, about Dubai. Uh DJ Luke Nasty, that was the headline. Dubai, is there any uh, attempt to like Live up to the name. Do they bring any like Arab type of vibes no, into the venue? Or? Moroccan. And it's anything. actually owned by some Spanish people. So I don't. Oh. Ah. Yeah, that's, that's different. Crazy. I, I know two little spots called Dubai, and none of them are black. They all are Spanish. That's ah. crazy. I just realized that. That's so interesting. None of them are black. I mean, I mean, they all are uh, not Arabic. I mean, I mean they, you know, Arabic people are black too. It's all in the skin. Um, Is it? Is yeah, it they nature? are. That's yeah. crazy. Yes, they are. Um. They just a little like a little lighter than us. We all descend from black people. So. We all you technically you uh you just was in there. You yeah. are a wandering black person. A wandering black person? Yeah, you left fucking Africa, <laughs> went to the mountains, and where, 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 where it was more cold. Trees. At, it was yeah. cold. That wasn't that much yeah. sunlight. Right. No. Beam down on that skin. That's what happened? Not a lot of sunlight. Yeah. Technically, and it stayed yeah. in the bloodline. But yeah, the uh, albinos. We, we was popping, bro. I, I fucking it was phenomenal event. Uh, we like I said, we had DJ Luke Nasty. He was the headline. Fucking phenomenal. I just it was just so it's like pandemonium in there. Mm. It's like I just had the man, ladies was going you know, crazy. You're, in you're fucking wasn't. nuts, bro. Like, well, your mic is a little low. I don't know why. I might be speaking. I'm a little hoarse too. So okay, <clears throat> I'm like I have you pumped up all the way here on the board, and yeah, I can I, barely hear you. I, I can speak up. All right, that? that's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, thank uh, you. But yeah, the weekend was popping, man. Like we had a great time. All the performances was dope. I was dope. Like it was it was fucking dope. Everybody had a good time. Ooh. Uh, I can't wait for the next one. Next one we got John B. I can't. Oh, nice! Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. Uh, 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 I I want to see him. I want to see him perform. I get called him all the well, time. Come, bro, come on, your come name on is now. actually saved in my phone. Is John B? Is it? Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> I Pull promise it up. you. I Pull promise you up. right Show now. Show the people. Kyle, call my phone. All right, let me let me get in here. I got to see. That's this. different. I believe in that because she didn't even tried to touch her phone at <laughs> no. first. Hold Show on. the people. Where? Here we go. Look in. I'm calling you now. Oh shit! <laughs> John me, B. Or, or John, John B. B. <laughs> so you have my name saved twice? Well, <laughs> Both B. under John B? Or John, John B. John B or John B. That or John the, B. The or only happens when you say the same number twice. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Well, yeah, that is. The difference is. is one has a period, the other one does not. Uh, one is spelled different, too. Oh, is it J-O-N mm-hmm. or uh, mm-hmm. J-O-H-N? You know, I like to add a little spice. Yeah. How does John <laughs> B spell his name? Uh, J-O- J-O-N? Yeah. Okay. 
All right. Yep. Well, four letters. I get called that all the time. I got called a stupid bitch this weekend. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. I got called a stupid bitch by a man who was attempting to uh, talk to me and get my phone number. He pulled up alongside me in his car and he said, hey, you know, can I talk to you for a second? I was on my walk. So I said, no, I'm good. And he said, you stupid bitch. And wow. he drove off, right? And I wasn't upset that he called me a stupid bitch. I was upset that he called me a stupid bitch in a Hyundai. <laughs> because I feel like. <laughs> what? I feel like. Oh, hold on. What year the Hyundai was? It was like a 99 Hyundai, oh, right? Oh. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I feel like if he was in something a little more, more modern. Modern. But I also felt like you look like you was like 42. You're old, like too old to be calling me a stupid yeah, bitch. Stupid bitch. Uh, Kevin White Damn. drives a Hyundai. He, he loves his car. Let me see. Let me see. Kevin Put your White glasses down. Put your glasses down. No, it wasn't you. But I just want, I want y'all to. <laughs> yeah. That was a good one. Uh, that funny. was a doozy. Say what I'm saying. Yeah. Now that's crazy though. He called you a stupid bitch. That's crazy. You didn't. You didn't say anything stupid to him. No, no, no. I was on the phone, honestly, and I was like walking, like I was on my walk, so I really wasn't paying attention <laughs> to it. Did the person on the phone hear? Yeah, he's like, "Yo, he called you a stupid bitch." Yeah, like, yeah, you stupid bitch. yeah what the I'm fuck? Like, I'm like, "Yeah, I don't care, but." He in a high day school. <laughs> gangster, right? gangster. Oh, by the way, we need to shout out the fact if if you are listening here and you haven't listened to her yet, Stormy's got a great podcast called Chocolate yeah. Chip and Sip. So yeah. uh, y'all go check that out. I've been waiting to be a guest on that show. Listen, yeah, you gonna, are you going to behave yourself? I'm chocolate. Are you going to behave yourself? Said, I'm, I'm always, I always behave oh, well, myself. Oh, no, I want you to come with some fuck shit. If you I mean, want to come, I, I want you to come with some fuck shit. I got shit. some shit for you. Okay, I'm, cool. I just did, matter of fact, I did a weird ass podcast too this weekend too. Um, yes, I forgot the name of the podcast, but it was uh, sounds like it was God fun. The, con- <laughs> the concept of the joint was about what's the guy that was che- that was cheating on his wife, and then he, but he was writing all these books and shit about it. Derek Jackson, Derek Jackson. Boom. I called him the goat, and he ain't like it. Mm. He's the fucking goat. Wait, you talking about the one that recently like recently happened? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah I yeah. called him the goat, and they ain't like it. Yeah, he had her on camera looking crazy. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, that's what I'm saying. They was they had like a specialist online, like on on YouTube, that broke down the whole video, and it was saying like, look at the mannerisms of this. I and this what this was this me, and this what that me, and I'm like, yo, think about it. What bitch in her right mind? <laughs> <clears throat> was gonna look cute for this moment. <laughs> she didn't want to be there. No, no, no. Like I she didn't want to be there. Like she didn't really want to be there. Like she, they like she wasn't even happy. Bitch, I'm talking about my husband. Some shit that just Why do I right. want to be happy? At she, that she, shit was fresh too. Uh, she could have took her damn bonnet off though. He I mean, looked exactly. sexier than her. But that's her choice. Oh my god. They try to make it seem like he made like it, I understand. Like I, I, I understand like certain things about a man. Is, is, is wrong You know what I'm saying But don't put every part On the man And make him wrong Like he made her do that And blah, blah, blah. it's like No she Don't was, nobody know that She did her own Like you don't yeah. How you don't know that She just did it her own way Or he made her do the video She had a choice Not to do the fucking video Why you Why you call him the goat though Oh cause he was smart Like I, Oh my god <clears throat> Let me tell you this I call him a goat To be a dickhead on the show But He's a goat Because Literally I'd rather hear from a nigga that's actually fucking up to tell me not to fuck up. Mm. Versus a nigga that never fucked up and you can't tell me why not to fuck up. Mm. That's that's no no base, there's no basis for this. He, he know all the signs of a fuck nigga. So his book should sell because he did it. He was the fuck nigga. One, one time. But the books came out before he did it or before and he admitted to doing it. But he was doing it for so long, she just didn't know he was being a fuck nigga. No. <laughs> That's all it was. That's all only right. thing. All right. But people try to like make it. Now, I ain't go front. This is the part I didn't like. If he did do this, if he was like using that that form to make girls leave a man mm. to get with them, with mm. them, that's fucked up. Mm. I think that is fucked up. But if he tell you, yo, if a nigga out here fucking bitches, leave him alone, that's not bad. Mm. That's he true. He said it's not bad. It's okay. not bad. All right. Well, thank you for that insight. Yeah, mm-hmm. I got you. We need to do the garbage pail. The Garbage Pail yeah. Where we have some interesting stories And stuff at random Just random weird things Actually you know what This is a combination of two segments It's a Garbage Pail It's also a list It's a list oh, We ain't do that in a minute have we? It's been a minute A couple weeks Remember the dogs and shit Somebody was talking about yeah. it Yes um, I think we did it when Jermaine was here Yeah that was uh, the apparently the ten grossest words in the English language have been revealed in a new poll. Are we all interested to find out what these words are? Like, give, me, give me five. Uh, no, I'm going to tell all ten. 
I want to know what I girls. Mean, I appreciate your input, but I'm going to read all of them. You asked. No. I didn't ask you how many you wanted to hear. Yeah, you did. I asked, did you want to hear them at all? He said, I only hear I five. said, give me five. That means, like, give me half of it. Go ahead. I want all right, to, whatever. What, what's the grossest <laughs> words? Let's go. Uh, so tens of thousands of people have voted on the grossest words in the English language. Unsurprisingly, a number of the words describing bodily fluids also made the top ten. Uh, number ten, Curd. Which I don't know. Does not that have to do with cheese and milk yeah. and stuff? Oh, um, okay, I, Dan, Dan, you look like you're about to say something, but I guess not. What the fuck is curd? Curd, curd. makes me think of. Sorry, I was uh, stopping curd. other stuff happening. Um, so yes, uh, cheese curds are what I mostly associate. <laughs> Stop the show. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he's funny. Uh, number nine is uh, putrid. Putrid. What the nah, fuck is that? I don't think that's gross. It's like what, what, oh, you know that what does it, it means gross. <laughs> it means gross. It means gross. You went to college. No. I didn't go to college. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I did one year. Go ahead. Uh number eight. Mm-hmm. Ooze. 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 Ooze and out okay, of your yeah. nose. Yeah, that's nasty. Now Boogies. Ivan Ooze ruined that for me. It's Ivan Ooze. I was yeah, thinking the right? same thing. Yeah. Power Rangers. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys watch that? I love that movie. Okay, cool. We were selling lean. You said the movie. <laughs> the purple joint. Yeah. He was selling lean. He was. Wait, what? See, he look, was see, look, see, what? We went, we went too black for him. No, I know what lean is, but what? what is... The, the I don't ooze, remember him selling it. Ooze, the ooze look like lean, like the, the color of lean. lean. Was it it's lean? purple? Yeah. Like yeah. It's like pink and when you put some Jolly Ranch in it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sipping on some scissor. Sipping on some... I put that see, on I never scissor. saw the color of, of the lean and power. What? Yeah, I didn't. it was just in a cup. <laughs> he said it was just in a cup. It was just in a cup. They put it in a red cup with a top on it. Like, <laughs> Yo. Go ahead, next one. All right, number seven, mucus. Yeah, that shit's nasty. Well, the, you know, mucus is nasty, but does the word mucus yeah. sound nasty to I'm, you? Oh, that's what they mean by? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's the, like the worst, the grossest sounding words. Oh. As they're heard. Got you. Yes. Does mucus make you feel a certain way? No. No? Okay. Uh, number six, fester. I think of Adam's family. Fester. Me too. Uncle Fester. Yeah, Uncle Fester. Uncle Fester. Yeah. 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 With that. the light bulb in his mouth. Right. Mm-hmm. That's hilarious. <laughs> he had superpowers. I actually just seen like the very like the first episodes like of the old ones earlier today. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Like the old black and white show or yeah, the cartoons? Saw, like, the co- black and white. I saw it for like like maybe ten minutes. It was like on was it Meat TV or some shit like that? Mm. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, it was on some shit like that. See, TV Land has gone past the fifties and sixties, and now all those old shows are on like Meat TV. Are you okay? You're sweating, dude. I'm, I'm hot as shit. <laughs> Blood pressure let up. You all right? No, it's, it's kind of cool in here. The argument came back in your head? No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> need some water. I was trying to stay keep the content of the show. Need some more water. <laughs> <laughs> need, some, need some more water. Oh, you say you got to hold it all on your back? You fucking tired, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're tired. No. Uh, uh, for the listeners, you don't know how we set the show up. So... <laughs> In the middle of the show, <laughs> I had this jacket on. <laughs> well, we could cut that out. Uh, all right, number. Uh, what was I on six? All right, so number five, splooge. Yeah, uh, that's that, actually the grossest one that I've heard so far. That actually sounds like a nigga that, that been just been selfish to me. Like a dude named Splooge. No, that nigga's splurging. Like that's almost it's not that's, splurge. Oh, no. it's that's what you to hear it. though. That's like when you hear it, when you say it, almost I almost heard splurging. I yeah. think of like getting your back nut on. Whoa, whoa. So what, okay, what is that, that mean? what that mean? I don't mean? know. Is that what that means? Uh, from what I understand, splooge means uh, to project liquid. Boom. See? Oh, shit. She's that on point is, tonight. I'm out here, you is, She's on point I'm tonight. You is nasty. <laughs> what the he fuck? Said you said you nasty. You was splooge in my back? <laughs> now it's sexy to me. That's not nasty. <laughs> That's some shit. When you said, what is it called? What is it? What's the definition? Splooge, splooge is to, uh, to project uh, liquid. Project. Splooge. You gonna yeah. shoot that shit? Hey, hey, I'm gonna splooge on your back. Shoot ropes of love. <laughs> let me, let me splooge. I'm about to, I'm let me splooge. Nah, I'm about to splooge. Let me splooge. Oh shit, I'm about to splooge. No, don't. Nah, don't that's don't too much. Too much. Okay. Um, number four, moist. <laughs> See, nah, women don't like the, the word that's moist. Sexy shit I like to me. that. I like that. I say that to women all the time. Mm-hmm. Why do people like the word moist? I don't understand it, but I know that a lot of women don't like the word moist. Like it makes them feel. Ugh. Like, how about how did you feel when she said it to you earlier? Oh, <laughs> before the show, was I feeling moist? <laughs> she said you I would, I would like to. We, if we went into context of where that came from, it wouldn't make sense to the listeners. No, I got you. Know, no, no, I didn't want to. I would just, I just asked you a question. Yeah, you could say yes or no. <laughs> I needed a rag. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> Go ahead. Finish. Uh, number. I already did. Uh, number three. 
Oh, that was a good one. Thank you. Uh, number three, seepage. Mm, they don't no. do nothing for me, but it just no. it sounds like there's a lot of tame through. folks in here that just don't. Just, just no. Maybe these folks are all pussies. I don't know. Mm. Seepage. Number two, phlegm. That mm. irritating. Phlegm in fuck. your chest. Yeah. It's fucking irritating. Get that phlegm yeah. out your chest. Yeah, I hear that when I when you hear that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, should be all in there. <laughs> as as a singer, Flem really kills you. Yeah, vocally. Shit, as a fucking human being, just talking that shit, fuck would you do? Especially when you're trying to sleep too. Oh yeah, that shit. Yeah, just crawls up the throat. Uh, number one. Oh, you in church? That's a good one. Mm. You in church trying to listen to the path, and you just keep <coughs> <coughs> trying to clear that. <laughs> 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 uh, number one. Number one. Pus. Oh yeah, that's mm. yeah, yeah. That just is. Yeah. I don't like one. that. I don't I like that word one. at all. Fucking three letter word. That's <laughs> the one. Ew! Puss. Look at that. Puss. They didn't put doodle or shit. None of that going there. Huh? <laughs> Throw a vomit. Yeah. When I that is that make me it, ah. that word. Oh uh, yeah. Is, but is it the sound of the word? Like the actual the how, how the word it. sounds, or is it the, the yeah the thinking behind the word? Just what it actually it. means that bothers people? Because mm-hmm. yeah. you think about every time you throw up, or you seen somebody throw up. Pus. It's the same thing about pus. Like I just what I think of it. Like, ah. Ah. Yeah. Uh, where's my music? All right, here we go. Uh, all right. Next thing here. That was a list. Here's an actual story. A uh, teen gets USB cable stuck in penis in back, here. <laughs> and backfired attempt to measure length. A UK teen had to undergo emergency surgery after an attempt to measure his manhood resulted in him getting a USB cable lodged in his urethra. Uh, Kevin just pulled up a picture on the screen that we're looking at right now. Is it of an X-ray? Um, the unnamed 15-year-old boy claims he did this due to being triggered by sexual curiosity. Uh, despite attempts to extract it himself, the USB cord became tangled so terribly that both ends were left hanging out of his wired willy. That hurts me more. I, don't, I really don't understand what I'm looking at. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need what, what, what in went in first? Uh, okay, okay, so... Uh, uh, it says it later on in the reading here, but uh, we're looking at the picture right now. Like, and that's it, a real it, picture? It, it, yes, it's, it's a real story, real picture. From what it looks like, it looks like both of the plug ends of the USB are inside of his groin, but that's not the case. What he did was he folded um. he folded the cable in half and shoved the fold into his urethra, leaving the two plugs out. Mm-hmm. And he just wanted to shove it into his dick and measure his length that way, I guess. But um, let's. What's I'm up? I'm not gay. <laughs> okay, thank you for letting us know. Thank you for that precursor. I, I got to start that yeah, right there. Definitely. Yeah. That wasn't a standalone comment. No, no, I'm just saying. Okay. Like, is this nigga an eater or something? Like, <laughs> I, yo, that was like, my next thing. That bag a little girthy. It's like, it's like, are you? There was no like, it didn't fuck the girth or like, it wasn't like, eating it. Like it had. You can't keep pushing that. Ah. They had to stick a Q-tip in my shit one time. Like, that. that's not... <laughs> yeah. That's, that's how you get tested. Yeah, like... What? Yeah. Shay, Shay yeah. looked at you so intimately yeah. and said, Yo, but yeah. I don't... Yeah, I was scared. I was like, what you doing? This this like, you gotta I pull... See. I was like, what? I don't know if y'all can see me right now. I'm really still holding my nuts right now. I'm yeah. scared. You see me clinch. <laughs> yeah, I'm clinched like a motherfucker, like a nigga about to punch me in the chest. Uh, the boy's family transported him to the hospital after he begun urinating blood. After initial attempts to remove the wire failed, the teen was transferred to the University College Hospital in London to see if they could extricate the cable. Subsequent x-rays revealed that the cable was vertebral Gordon that there was a vertebral Gordian knot, okay, I got it, of USB wire inside the teenager, which required surgeons to make an incision in the region between his genitals and his anus to in yank it gooch. out. Yeah, in the gooch. Uh, they pulled the spooled and see, and in this x ray that we're looking at, you can see that he shoved it in there so much that it started to like bunch see, up. This is why the man's booty holes not what, to be what, fucked what is with. that right there? Like, th- what's that right there? See, okay, so you the see, like, part. you see, talked about this. you see this area in this picture, like, Right in between the, the upper part of his thighs that looks like it's a whole knot. Like yeah, a whole yeah, bunching. Yeah. Like over here. Yeah, yeah. Basically he took the cord and folded it in half and shoved it like this. Right. And, and then right. until until it bunched up. It didn't hurt. You know what? I feel like this was unsmart for multiple reasons. Right. Yeah. And one of them being if you were trying to measure when you kept shoving it and the knot became clear, did you think your dick was like still that long? Like 
Mm-mm. What 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 was this? What size cable was that? A ten foot? It looks pretty big. <laughs> this motherfucker thought he had a ten foot dick. He did. He did. <laughs> That's ah. And they got a cheating. Uh, we call them the cheating. Uh, uh, what you call them? Cheating. Uh, I don't know. Cables and shit. Oh when my god! You, you get a long cable. Cheap, you, oh yeah, the six foot drum. Call, no, the ten foot is the cheaters. Yeah, you're a cheater. Yeah, you get them from Seven <laughs> Eleven. Look, Yo. Like, like, look at the cheater answer. Oh uh, <laughs> wait, <laughs> but. <laughs> but this, that shit look crazy, I got it. bro. <laughs> He's funny. That nigga crazy, bro. But real fast, how you gonna tell your mom got a USB in my dick? <laughs> you gotta come out the room and say my dick. Like you, <laughs> you like it was an emergency. <laughs> Don't ask me no question. Just oh my, my dick. Gosh. This Take shit it. remind me of uh, not so much, but it's like uh, you ever seen uh, something about Mary? Something about yeah, Mary. we talked about it before on the show <laughs> when, that, when he zipped up his right uh, his penis. <laughs> oh my god! Ray Simpy, Ray Simpy, yo. <laughs> <laughs> well, and they say, how you get it up over? The, how you get the zipper over the penis? <laughs> <laughs> right. Turn it. Next story, please. Oh Hurry my up. god! Oh, my uh, dick hurt. Hold on. Uh, it says these types of experiments have been termed sounding. Which uh, means a strange practice defined mm. by inserting foreign bodies in one's urethra. Last month, a Michigan man was left struggling to pee after he got six kidney beans lodged in his urethra during a bizarre attempt at sexual gratification. Why huh? the fuck would you do that, bro? That's fucking stupid. People are weird. Not weird with shit. Your dick. Oh my god! I didn't know. I don't want to put nothing, nothing, nothing up there. But you're thinking uh, as a rational, the sane human being. The, I, weird, the weirdest thing I want to do with my dick is put it in a girl's butt. That's it. Facts. That's about the far as I'm gonna go. That's weird. Facts. Me. Really? Facts. I mean, no, no, I'm just saying that is that's not that's not an everyday thing. So it's, that's the closest to weird I want to go. I'm not ah. Not not USB cables. Mm-mm. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna say don't knock phone. it till you try it. Ah. <laughs> I'm not trying that. Nah, I mean, I'm not doing it either. All right, that was the garbage pail. Uh, all right, so we're really killing it on time. So we're going to go to a quick break. We'll be right back with more Try Jam. Don't go anywhere. So, guys. What's going on, Kyle? I don't think the people understand yet. What? We have so many different ways for our listeners and viewers to consume the show. We're more than just a podcast. We're more than just a live stream. Don't they know this? What we got for them? Tell them. We have our show available. You really put me on the spot. That was good, though. I was good. I I appreciate the layup, but I just missed. It was all all whiff. (laughs) uh, Block that shit. (laughs) That shit out of here. But really, I mean... As much as people enjoy listening to the podcast, they will love watching it on YouTube and Facebook Watch, and Thanks. vice versa. If you love watching it on Facebook and YouTube, uh, you can listen to our show. Take us with you in the car, on your jog, when you're working out. You know, when you're in the grocery store, you know, take Try Jam wherever you want to go. Even if you want to get a little ass, you can take you, us with you. You play us in the room if you want to get some ass. That's right. And set the mood. Go blow your shit. Mood. Set the mood. Set if you, the mood. Nothing's more romantic than playing with the pubes and Shay's got the game Y'all on want to sell. Fuck this commercial. Do this shit over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back from the break, y'all. This yeah. is Trey. Yeah. 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 Full house in this yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. We do have a full house. And once again, we need to say thank you for Stormy P for visiting us today oh, and being yeah, a guest yeah, host. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yes, and we got a guest in the studio, a very special guest, but before we talk to him, Shay, what's going on? Yeah, what's good, good people? What's the one I'm looking at, right here? My people's right yeah, here? Yeah, your camera changed this week. <laughs> I'm over here, all right, weird. So, Sunday, March 13th, we got the Tower of Power at the Keswick Theater, Glenside, PA, showtime is at 8 p.m. Then Thursday, this upcoming Thursday, March 17th and the 18th, we got my guy, one of the kings of R&B, Brian McKnight. I think so. Y'all think so? Yes, I do. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'll give it to him. Yeah. City Winery, 990 Filbert Street, Philadelphia, PA. Uh, then also, you got our good sis from Philly, Jasmine Sullivan. She's on her tour right now. She's going to be at the Met Philadelphia, 990 at Filbert. Yeah, also the same spot. Yeah. I, I wonder who's opening up for who. It's her tour. It's the same day? Huh? Same yeah. day? On the, she's performing on the 18th. Okay. Friday. On the Friday. No, okay. Ain't nobody right. for nobody. Yeah, Saturday, March 26th, you got the OJs. What's it, the Excite Center? Yeah, at over Parks at Parks. Parks Casino. Yeah. I love that place. Ben Salem, PA. Showtime is I at 7.30. Oh, yeah. yeah? Yeah, Patty LaBelle. 
Awesome. Hot damn. That's a, that's a big name right there. Shit, that just threw me off. Saturday, Shit. April 2nd, Kim and Babyface, Waterfront, Music Pavilion, formerly the BB&T Pavilion, Camden, New Jersey. Uh, showtime is at 8 p.m. And then Sunday, April 17th, CC. Penniston at uh, the, the City Winery, 990 Filbert Street, Love Philadelphia. CC. Hold on, Dan. You have something to say? Turn wait, your mic wait, on. I, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm uh, Shay Pavilion. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, yo, I was actually thinking the same thing. Yo. I don't know how to pronounce it. How you pronounce it? Pavilion. 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 I don't know. I looked at it. Don't you? Don't damn sure don't look at me no type of way. The letters don't. It's not anyway. Close. I gave y'all something to do. Pat Pat Avalon, Avalon, Pavilion. Pavilion. Go look Pavilion. 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 When you type two it in Google, syllables. when two you type it on, look, when you type it on Google, it's gonna come up right though. So make sure y'all pull up. Kim and Baby, and baby Face is gonna be there. At the Pavilion. At the Pavilion. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be there. In Camden, New Jersey. We know who's not sharing this this week. <laughs> 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 My one fuck up, y'all put it out there. Whatever. They wouldn't have known. <laughs> they heard you. Dude, they they wouldn't have paid attention ones, to it. Most people don't pay attention to shit like that. All right. Well, thank you, Shay. That was actually very entertaining. That's what's going on, though. That's what's going on. Pull up. Uh, so, like I said, we have a special guest in the studio. Before we talk to him, let's hear this clip from him, and uh, we'll talk to him right after. Dance by our next guest. He is a very, very talented saxophone player, Sorry. and uh, I'm glad to say one that I've known for, I guess, many years. Y'all give it up for Haroi Turf. Yeah. yeah. What up? What up? What up? It's good, man. How guy. we doing? How we doing? What's We're up? good. How are you doing? I'm great, man. Thanks for having me, man. Full Full I, I am so happy to have you here. Um, we do go back uh, a while. And Tell us like, about it. Tell us I about it. I think it was... <laughs> 2011? Uh, I met you? 2012? I, I want to say, yeah, probably 2011. I think I had yeah. just graduated high school, and I think you were still in high school. I was school. still in high school, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it and was. I think my boy Eric Wiley connected us. Um, Either no, him or Josh Thomas. No, actually, it was your guitar player, Bill Baraldi at the time. You know yeah. What? yeah. Now, hold on. The band was called Simple Commotion. Oh, my goodness. And <laughs> it, and I first saw you guys live at, before it was called The Union. It was called The Firehouse. Yep. Mm-hmm. I and yeah. and uh, I, don't, I think that was when underage people could get in. I don't know if you can still do that over there now or not, because I mean, there's a full operational bar. But that you're and uh, as a high school band, Simple Commotion was amazing. I learned a lot from those guys. Yeah, I, I, I especially like Eric Watley, Josh Thomas. Uh, ben St. Fort, who's now Benny X. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I learned a lot from the guy. He was the, he was another horn player, right? Yeah. No, nah, he he played, uh, he actually doubled a lot. He played uh, piano, key, keyboards, and guitar. Oh, like, he was definitely I got a multi- it all wrong. Yeah. yeah, no, it's all good. But, uh, he, you know, he was like a multi talented, you know, to see him out here producing, you know, doing stuff for, you know, Ty Dollar Sign. You know, I was, you know, going back, you know, them, them old Upper Derby, I was like, yo, I knew you when. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my boy, you know? So. It's crazy because Shay and I were talking about it before the show that uh, how many individuals, musicians from that band have gone on to do some pretty spectacular things, including yourself. I mean, you got oh, yeah. Eric yeah. Wiley and Josh Thomas and uh-huh. and you doing a whole lot of stuff, man. And you had said before we actually, like, we're actually during Shay's segment, like you're you're playing for a lot of people too. And you played for The Roots said and, Patty. and, yeah. and Patty, Patty LaBelle. Yep. And... So I mean I'm sure that the the list goes on. I had yeah, uh, Brandy, uh, her last album B7. No oh, real. Yeah, you know that song Say Something. Okay. Say something, something to believe. Yeah, I was on that record. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. K. 
Cash and what you do on it? The saxophone? Yeah, I play saxophone on it. Mm. Yeah, that's the only instrument you play? Uh, I do play a lot of different instruments. I play a little bit of flute, clarinet. I dab a little bit on a lot of the rhythm section instruments like piano, bass, keyboards. But saxophone like is what you'll see me publicly. That's, what you, yeah. Yeah. So, that's what you mastered. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's definitely I put a lot of study in that in that horn, and as well as all the other woodwinds. So you know, it's definitely a a, a true gift and blessing. That's you know? what's up, Bill. So uh, even before simple commotion, I'm sure that your story starts somewhere. Where does it start, man? You know what's crazy? Uh, so Harori Turf. You know, so here's a little bit of background in my name because. Previously, people knew me as Henry Turf. Yeah. Right. And that was I thought it was like a cool nickname, but after a while, I started getting checks as Henry Turf. I was like, yo, I can't do nothing with this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm actually a first-generation American, right? Right. My parents, my mother was raised in Asmara, Eritrea, which is in Eastern Africa. It's literally right next to the Red Sea. You can't mm-hmm. miss it. Mm. And my dad was actually born in Gonder, Ethiopia. Oh, right? wow. They met, you know, the war happened between Eritrea and Ethiopia over independence, just like America and uh, the British, you know what I'm saying? That same uh, situation. But it lasted like 30 years. You know what I'm mm. saying? From like the 60s to the, I think, Eritrea won the war in like Damn. 91, I believe, 93, I think. Forgive me for not knowing my dates. But uh, no, but my parents still stayed in touch by writing letters. Oh, when's the last so time? Sweet. When's the last time you wrote a letter to somebody? Be yeah. like, hey, how are you? you Middle know? school, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like pen pal stuff. You know, time, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I you know, up. my dad, at the time when the war was happening, my mom actually... Uh, her and my aunts, her sisters, they uh, relocated to Saudi Arabia, which is right across the sea. My dad actually uh, relocated to New York and was actually a cab driver in the early 90s. Oh. You know what I'm saying? And during that time, they were still like, you know, keeping keeping in touch. Right. You know, it's been right like, you know. Yeah, I know, right? It's crazy. So about, I want to say like four, five, I want to say six years after not seeing each other, they actually like reconnected. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Spent like a whole amount of time with each other. You know, my dad dropped on one knee and, you know, obviously they said yes, moved to New York, came to Philly. And then this goes into the 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 origin of my name. So Horoi, the native language in Eritrea is called Tigrinya. Tigrinya. Google it. Okay. Tigrinya, right? <laughs> right. So Horoi in Tigrinya means leader, right? Okay. So my parents move into a new country, not knowing the, the whole, you know, you know, Western lifestyle and all that kind of stuff. And me being the first born in the family, you know, they really wanted me to be a leader for ne- my other three younger siblings. You know what I'm saying? So that's the background of my name, Horoi Turf. You know what I'm saying? Word. Wow. That's dope. Yeah, man. Yeah. So a lot of I, background. I can understand genre. why you don't want people to call you a name that's not yours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I put something on Facebook like uh, a month ago and I got a lot of reactions on it. I got, mm. uh, pretty much long story short, I was uh, I was at this spot in Philly called Time Restaurant. Yes, I saw you there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is actually a few months after that, actually. Okay. Uh, you know, because time is like, the musicians, artists hang, you know what I'm saying? Up, yeah. You know, a lot of musicians get done their gigs, whatever kind of gig, you know, theater gigs, wedding gigs, you know, artist gigs, club gigs, whatever. And then we all meet up at time and we chop it up, you know right, what I mean? Just, right. you know, just catching, yo, what's good? What's happening? Blah, 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 blah. My big sis, Mayor Floyd, Mayor Floyd, that's the name I want y'all to under- Oh, she goes by Mayor, but Mayor, she was actually just on the Kimmel, uh, Jimmy Kimmel show, uh, okay. doing backgrounds for Ari Lennox. Oh, okay. Yeah, but she has music wow. out. Yeah, she has music Fire. out on her own too. And she's killing. She's super, super, super dope. Uh, one of my one of my closest friends, but we were talking, and you know, she was like, "Yo, man, you gotta find a way to stop letting people call your name that's not yours." I was like, "Yo, I don't. How do I do that? Like, I tell people, and you know, I feel like people are just not listening. Like, yo, put something on social media." So I put it on social media. I got like five hundred, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even do Facebook like that. And right. like the comments range from like, "I didn't know. Thank you for letting me know." I never want to see you curse on Facebook again. Right, you, said, <laughs> you suck. Fuck this Henry oh. shit. I did say fuck that. Am I allowed to curse here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I said fuck that Henry shit. Well, and this. then, <laughs> and I and I wrote it at like two a.m. or something like that. And then I woke up at like nine the next morning. I see like oh, oh, oh <laughs> shit. I was like, mm. was it family that was upset by your cursing or? Uh no, actually, people? it was a <laughs> it was a mother of another musician. Oh and really? I, and I won't say the name, but it was she a mother of another musician. She must have called you Henry. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I man. know this motherfucker ain't talking to me. Yeah, she, <laughs> she, but I will say about this one person: she, she she's well respected in the Philly uh, Black American music community. Mm. Okay, uh, my family the bill. No, <laughs> oh, <excuse me. laughs> nah. I had pies one time. No. I, I wish I did, but it's all good. Um, but yeah, she she was um, she's definitely a motherly figure in the community. So for her, to, and she's known me since I was you know before I even met you. Right. You know what I mean? So you know, to her, it was like. I don't want ever, you know, that, that church auntie vibe, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? So it was that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but now, nah, now I think I've set the record straight. So and if, if they don't know, they should have paid attention. So 
<laughs> what was your favorite uh travel like favorite experience you ever had as a musician as a musician man yeah. uh man between like all right so i've been playing saxophone since i was like nine um but since i was like 18 i really started working a lot in the community uh slash the industry right uh there's two that come to mind uh one my first gig the, with the, the music industry right yeah the music industry not the porn industry which is often oh, referred to what? no what? no 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 y'all got sound effects back there <laughs> yeah, yeah I, need, I need like right a pause on. or something like that no, it's right there it's right there yeah. what kind of sound effects y'all got oh uh, okay bro. nice the uh, family food family yeah <laughs> no. Oh, no. Yeah, okay no. okay yeah, that's the beginning I'm, 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 <laughs> You got quite around that, John. right before he fucks. That's right there. I'm dead, yo. Yes. <laughs> but, um, yeah, two, uh, two come to mind. Um, I was asked to sub a gig for my boy Sam Greenfield, who's a great saxophonist from Philly. He lives in New York now. Uh, at the time, he was um, playing saxophone for Eric Roberson, mm. who... Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, who around uh, Jill Scott's first album, I think he either sang backgrounds on uh, who was Jill Scott or like wrote some like verses or something like that. And at the time... Uh, Eric had a Robus, uh, Eric Robeson had a, a record that came out that I was a real big fan of. For some reason, I can't remember the name of the record, but the title of the song that I really fell in love with is called I'm Not Trying to Keep Score No More, which is mm. like a love song. If like, you know, if you mm. or your man or your girl, you know, trying to go through it and, you know, trying to have that last say, you know, I'm not trying to keep score no more. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think the record came out about two months before I got asked to play uh, for Eric Robeson. So I was like really, really hyped at the time. I think I was like 20, never played for an artist before. You know, at the time I was just doing a lot of local work local production, local recording, all that kind of stuff. So at that, you know, first time I ever got a hotel paid for me or whatever, nice. you know what I'm saying? First time I had to like yeah. go down. I think the gig was in uh, Alexandria, Virginia. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So first time like- I love it. that. I love that that city. Yeah, it's a great city. You know, I never, I, you know, I have family in Richmond, but I never really hung in Alexandria at all. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was at this club called the Birchmere. Oh, see, Alexandria and the Birchmere. That's yeah. the that's the venue that y'all make fun of me for taking that date to go see Freddie Jackson. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't don't do that shit. No please don't. Nah, man. Please nah, don't. man. The Birchmere hey, is a beautiful venue. I do like the Birchmere. Yeah, but not Freddie Jackson. Yeah. Freddie, whatever. Freddie Jackson. Teach his own. Teach his own. I love you, Freddie you taking a chick to the Freddie Jackson show. I mean, if, if she's a fan, she's no, no. She's now you 20s. know. No, no. Here's the thing, though. I've had this conversation with a lot of different people in my generation because I'm I'm still in my twenties. You know what I'm saying? I have a lot of friends in their twenties that love older music because their upbringing was a lot of those people. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, but you still get a little bit of foundation of the younger too, though. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, get a best, little bit of best of both worlds. Be you know friends, what I mean? So, friends. you yeah, know, yeah, they yeah. no wrong with taking Freddie Jackson. You know, taking a date, Freddie that Jackson. Go to no. dates, Freddie Jackson. It was hard on, if he's on tour and it's like it's like let's say it's like your first date or something like that. No. Like yo, I heard, nah, man. Wasn't a first date. It was a second. I'm not saying I would do it. It was what? It, it wasn't it was a first. Second. Date. But was I don't the, think it's a bad idea. It was the second date, about three years in between. <clears throat> wow. but yes. So it was the oh, first no. date again. So the first date again. Yeah. 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 And I yeah. was I was going, and I knew that she lived in the area, so I was like, hey, you want to come with me? It wasn't, you know, right. It was, uh, you know, I'm. You want to accompany me? So I think it was all right. That's right. These guys don't. But anyway, I personally think there's nothing wrong with it. Thank you. Now, then again, I, I'm not saying I would do it, but <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. There ain't nothing wrong with it. So, to go back to your original question, Eric Robeson was first off, and then obviously all the stuff with Patti LaBelle uh, was absolutely amazing. It was, uh, you know, to work with the icon that you listened to growing up. That's you know traveling saying? wise too. Like favorite favorite place you ever been to? Favorite place I've been to. Uh, like, what's your favorite city? My favorite. Si I'm trying to think. I've, 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 I've you know, it's crazy. I've always been a fan of Washington D.C. You know why? Mm. Really? Because close. check this out. Check this out. Yeah, it's the it, crack. Is, it is close, but also <laughs> Washington D.C. I tell my friends this all the time. They have a a huge Eritrean population down there. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So let's say let's say if I have a, a one off in D.C. at the city winery or something like that, walking in the streets, I see all my people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm, makes sense. I think um, the weekend of the Black Lives Matter street, uh, back when our previous president was in office, yeah, and yeah. they had that street that connected, <clears throat> excuse me, all the way to the White House. Mm. I remember I saw it. Uh, for the first time ever and like all the people around me were people that literally looked like me and were mm -hmm. from the same country mm -hmm. I was I was like yo this is great but you know Washington DC is great you know I'm also a big fan of uh, you know brunch uh, yeah brunch <laughs> is cool <laughs> but in city I'll probably say like Orlando Florida you know Where? you know get that consistent weather oh you know Disney World and I don't I don't no. really do Disney like that but oh you're a universal guy I do like universal yeah, yeah. <laughs> I prefer Universal <laughs> over Disney, actually. Yeah, really? it's a smaller park. I will say, uh, but Splash, Splash, Mountain, Splash Mountain is a dope behind ride. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I ain't yep. never been to none of this shit. No, oh, never been to amazing. Disney. You never been to Disney World. No, 
Oh, we got to try jam trip. Oh. Yeah, man. My daddy ain't got that kind of money trip. at the time, right? Mm. Not even seeing your trip? Nah, I'm from the hood, nigga. We <laughs> <laughs> so from the hood, nigga. My senior trick was a cookout. Oh, oh man. man. Oh, yeah, God damn, Zeke. Oh, and then all the high schools in one, they went, we all went to a cookout. To all the high schools in my town. That probably still fought, then, yo. Now we actually we think I had a bunch of rap battles. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that was the closest to a fight. It was mad love. That's crazy. The city I live in, they got like 17 high schools. So. Mm-hmm. Where are you from? I'm from Newark. Oh, killing. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Newark got mad high school, so we all came together. Kevin's from Newark. Kevin, you're. Uh, did you have a cookout for your senior trip? Oh, you know? Okay. We Use a microphone. Oh, yeah. I, went to my- I don't even think we had a senior trip. Oh, okay. Damn. What school high school you went to, Kev? Columbia. I, South South Orange Maplewood. I'm oh, yeah, no, mm. yeah, it's not North. It's not you North. South oh. Orange. That's I thought you lived. It's up the street. It's up the street. Okay. okay. Across the street, literally. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, you uh, you said you you worked uh, with Patty, but also who also works with Patty that you work with a lot is Jeff Bradshaw. Jeff Bradshaw, that's my big bro. He was the reason why I got to play with Patty. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a situation where so the the core saxophone is for Patty Labelle is this guy named Mike Burton who lives uh, from Mississippi, but he's based in Atlanta, Georgia right now. He works a lot with this dude Adam Blackstone, who is like mm. the musical director for yeah. We all he's know. that guy from he's Disney. that guy. Super Bowls, all the way. BET Awards, Soul Train Awards. He's Adam the musical Blackstone director from yeah. Willemburg. Yeah, from Willemburg. I, 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 yeah. I think I know him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, you know, Super Bowls, all that stuff. So there were a couple, uh, 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 I think this was back in like 2017. Um, there were a couple uh, situations where a couple dates overlapped in which he had to sub, sub out Patty LaBelle. Mm. And uh, it was Jeff, you know, uh, who also plays trombone for Patty. Right. At the time, the, uh, the horn section was uh, Jeff Brash on trombone, Matt Cappy on trumpet, and then Mike Burton. So anytime Mike. Uh, he, so Jeff obviously suggested me and then, you know, Mike Burton, who I didn't really know at the time, you know, obviously I live in Philly. He lives in Atlanta. You know, the only reason why we, uh, you know, stay in touch is or the only uh, how can I say we keep in touch through social media and social media only. You know what I'm saying? So we don't really know about each other like that. Y'all got no group chat or nothing. No, nah, no group chat. You know what I'm saying? No <laughs> group DMs, shit, right? whatever, you know, cats be doing out here and whatever. So, you know, so it was an honor and a pleasure. You know what I'm saying? I was really nervous, though, because the first show I did with Patty, I had. There's a train. Nice. Are you okay, cool, again? cool, cool. <laughs> the the There's a train, the train outside, yeah. Same. Nice, nice. <laughs> uh, my first show with Patty, it was in uh, Mississippi, and I had no rehearsals with the band before mm. I played. Damn. So, and <laughs> I remember some of the songs, some of the songs I was still learning the horn parts during soundcheck. So Ooh. I was just like, were the charts? There, uh, there were some charts, but they were superly like illegible. Like, you, it, really? It could, yeah, like I was like, I can't tell if this is a fucking A flat or a monkey's ass. Like, you know what I'm saying? Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. And like, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, for those situations, if you're a horn player, it's best to, you know, give charts out so, you know, the process would be a lot smoother for your subs. You know right, what I'm saying? They're handwritten, actually. Well, there's a lot of... Well, the band is a little older. You know what I'm saying? Right. The, you know, a lot of the guys... I mean, I still like to handwrite my sheet music right you know as a first draft, but wouldn't you compute those after? Me, personally, yes, but okay. there's other people that don't do that and right. that's totally fine. You know what I'm saying? I know what I wrote. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it makes sense to you, but not to me. So you know, but you know, but also like those kind of situations, like you know, to go in cold, there's already a little bit of like nervousness on your shoulders because right. like mm-hmm. it's kind of like when you try something new for the first, like when you drive a car for the first time, or you, when you're young and you learn how to walk for the first time. You know, it's kind of getting those motions. That was that uh, was my next question. How was you? How were you introduced to music? Like what? You know, I mean, besides being in Philly and being around it, like. What was the inspiration behind you? Like, getting what in made it? you pick up the saxophone? Yeah, uh, man, my my, I know you had Trey Lambert on here like months ago. Yeah, uh, that's that's my dude, and Trey definitely got his start from church. You know what I'm saying? Just like you know, ninety five percent of cats from Philly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they right. all got their start in church. Considering my background, you know what I'm saying? I I didn't have that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I didn't. Go, you know, my family even like there's couple of Eritrean churches in Philly. You know, around the Southwest area, like Buist Avenue and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. We we didn't really go at all you know what i'm saying except for like easter and christmas and all that kind of stuff so mother's day yeah mother's day <laughs> yeah you know what i mean I used to hate so my introduction to music was just kind of what was around me you know right, what i'm saying right, right. uh you know i was the first born you know whatever so i would watch tv you know kind of get used to what's over you know what's the music being played on tv philly's heavy on music in general yeah too. of course i mean i was literally about to bring up fresh Prince in bel-air you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying like you know i the first time i ever heard someone rapping on a tv sitcom you know right, what i'm saying right so you know, i was used to that i remember i had a babysitter who like didn't speak english at all you know she was like s- straight spanish you know what i'm saying so i was hearing a lot, a lot of hispanic music when i was like you know going 
being babysat. Right, right. My friends were into gospel at the time. My friends were into like R and B and all that kind of stuff. And then around you know fourth grade when I was allowed to pick an instrument for public school band, uh, you know, my neighbor played the saxophone, so I was like, let me try the saxophone. Went from and there. he quit, and I didn't want to quit because you know. That's Quitters dope. don't get no money. You know what That's I mean? Dope. Talk that talk. <laughs> One of the things that I really enjoy about you is, besides your musical ability and your playing, is your personality. Oh, and, thank you. and you're also, you keep it 100% real all the time. Oh, and thank you. I feel like you do. Especially... Uh, it, it, there's one moment that I, when I saw you perform at time most uh, recently. Don't bring, yo, don't bring that up. Don't bring that up. I, 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 I want to. <laughs> can I? You want me to just stop the question midway? <sighs> go, ahead, go ahead. All right. So, so uh, was the was the event? Was it an open mic? It or, was. A, it was a jam. It was session. a jam. There's session. a difference between open mic and jam sessions. Okay. And what is it? Tell them. The jam sessions is more like anybody can perform at open mic. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're not a singer for a for all, you can still perform at open mic. You know, kind of get your, you know, get your chops up, Mm -hmm. you know, build your following or whatever. But a jam session is definitely like you got to have your shit together. Right. I'm saying because there are musicians that are trying to play for real. There are singers that are trying to sing for real. There are spoken word poets that are trying to sing for real. So if there's someone on the bandstand that's treating this like an open mic, there's a good chance you're going to fuck that vibe up <laughs> for everybody. You know what I'm saying? And, and this that's rapper what it is. did. This rapper yeah. did. You're going to get clowned for this. He shit. fucked it up. And, yeah. and, but he, the crazy thing was that he was blaming y'all. And he did blame us, yeah. It was like... <laughs> it is real funny because, once again, he treated like an open mic. Right. He didn't, you know, I, you know, he didn't really have bars. You know what I'm saying? Right. He had zero bars. Did Damn, they I'm move him? him. <laughs> no bars. Nah, well, here's the thing about time. You know, time is not... All right, don't take this the wrong way. It's not a, like a 100% music venue. It's not like people are just going to come in and just listen to music as they do somewhere like the Fillmore or the CLA right. or, right. she can or some of these other places like the, what do you call that, John, in Camden? The Pavilion. The Pavilion. The Pavilion. <laughs> the pavilion. <laughs> I said Pavilion. They didn't Nobody's, hear that. You know what I mean? Like the Pavilion, you know what I mean? So, you know, people, when they go to time or when they go to all, the, all these other clubs that just so happen to have music, you know, they go, you know, they with the girl, they with their friends, you know, they with their boys mm-hmm. or, you know, they just chill eat drink whatever and like oh there's a band you know these you know these guys are killing whatever and you know I mean, he said so modest they be killing killing like you know don't say it that modest bro y'all be killing we know thank y'all. you thank you <laughs> well, thank he's you, humble for real yeah you understand I wasn't, going, I, wasn't, thank you. I wasn't going to say it but okay yeah so <laughs> but yeah you know that one certain t- I think what was this is it like January fuck y'all <laughs> <laughs> not you but my bad two, yeah these two not it means he fuck my no no you good guess, my fault. there's a back story between, uh, between us and the word like humble I don't like the word humble I don't word. like, I don't like the because word humble because being humble means it's he can't definitely. say that he's a shit do you like shit. the Kendrick Lamar song huh do you like the Kendrick Lamar song the song is great yeah I just don't I don't care for the word humble uh. His definition is just different. No, y'all definitions is for bitch ass people. To oh, be. Whoa. We, we look at the Google Shit. definition, my boy. <laughs> I live by it. I don't. <laughs> I don't. But anyway, think- going back to that situation. Not to cut y'all off. No, no, my fault. Uh, just, no, just, yeah, yeah, it was no, one of those situations. Cut us off. But you know, you know, within the band at the time, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, everybody knew like it was kind of whack. And you know, we keep it real within each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, if one of us is messing up, we, you know, hey man, this wasn't happening. And this is why. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's the only way we're gonna build each other as musicians and build the community as a music community. You know what I'm saying? You were talking about how Philly has so many artists and great musicians and artists because we keep it real within each other. You know what I'm saying? There's definitely a uh, you know, we call it the school kill punch. You know what I'm saying? Mm. With uh, that tap water. Well, it's a, it's a slang term. It's a slang term. <laughs> maybe maybe it's because when I was growing up, I was hanging around the old guys. They were talking about school kill punch and all that kind of stuff. But it's definitely you know, there's something in the water. So did you did you have you you talk about yeah, all these trash. good times? Did you have any bad times <laughs> that you had to deal with, bro? Like anything that might oh, have yeah, man. thrown you off a of track? Oh for a yeah, while. man. Uh, there's a few. Uh, man, man. <laughs> yeah, because you know what's crazy. Good. A lot of people hear about the highlights; they don't really hear about the downfalls. Right. You know what I'm saying, Big and time. it's That's the downfalls the that really uh, make, make or break you. you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, make or break you. Because some people can't even bounce back from that. You know what I'm saying? But you know, you really have to be at a place. There's not really a to answer your question. There's not really one specific uh, fall that I can think of. But I remember with, with all of my downfalls that I can you know have slight memory of. Mm-hmm. You know, the biggest thing that I have to do is stay true to myself and understand why I do this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, exactly. You know, you not everybody can do the musician life, the artist life. You know what I'm saying? Because it takes a lot of you up here. It takes a lot on you physically. You know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, once you kind of take a deep breath and kind of just take a look at the bigger picture, you know. Everything you know, everybody, everything will be okay at the end of the day. So. Big facts. I agree. So. I think that the last couple of years have you know provided. 
I guess, an opportunity for a lot of musicians to have downfalls, especially in the midst right. of the pandemic. So what did you do uh, when gigs weren't happening? Man, I learned how to be a better engineer. Yeah? Yeah, because, you know, I wasn't able to record myself at home. You mm-hmm. know, I had people hit me up, you know, from Philly, New York, whatever. They'd be like, hey, man, can you take a saxophone solo on the song? And be like, yeah, let me see what's up with my boy in the studio real quick. I'll get right. back to you. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, you know, they're not trying to, some of them are not trying to wait. You know what I'm saying? They're like, yo, I kind of need this, you know, ASAP. You know what right. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And at the time, I didn't really have that capability because, you know, I didn't have, I think I had uh, software on my computer at the time, you know, Logic or whatever. Right. But I didn't, I, you know, I didn't have a mic. I didn't have no cables. I didn't have no interface. You know what I'm saying? So. Wait, you, I, didn't, you didn't have anything before the pandemic? No. Nah. Wow. Heavy. Yeah. Wow. Well, no. Hold up. Pause. I lied. Fourth of July, 2019. I had to, you guys know Chill Moody, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's my boy. I've been playing with him since I was in college. You know what I'm saying? Like around 2016, 2017. Okay. We, so, Wild Wild, excuse me, Wild Wild Welcome America, right. the big festival on the parkway, right? Okay. Chill Moody has his Chill Moody stage, right? Uh, my boy, Marlon Lewis, also from Upper Darby, uh, he usually plays drums and uh, runs show tracks through like his little SPDX or something like that. He literally just hits the pad, bam, and the, the tracks go drum, through. Man. Yeah, the whole show tracks go through the house, the monitors, the stage, whatever. Uh, Marlon actually couldn't make the 4th of July because he's actually on tour with his other band. So Chill came up to me. He was like, yo, man, uh, I think you're the guy. You have to get this up together. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I got you. Don't worry about it. Mind you, after that conversation, I'm like, yo, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do, man. Because like, <laughs> everything is literally on my... I have to get a new drummer. You know what I'm saying? Luckily, I got my boy Lionel Forrester Jr. who plays drums. Uh, he's actually he's playing on... Yeah, bad boy from West Philly. Uh, he's actually playing on my record. That, my debut record that we're, we're, we are recording tomorrow. So... Oh, oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm late because we came from rehearsal. Oh, so hey, it's yeah. good reason. Okay. It is a good reason. <laughs> so yeah, got a new drummer. Uh, my boy Lionel. Uh, Richie? <laughs> What's, no, what, what sound effects you got for that? No, uh, no, no, I wish I had all night long or you something. You know what it is? Dancing on the ceiling. Been, <laughs> angles ain't been bothering me all night. Angles ain't bothering me, but it, like, if, that I noticed. Y'all, from, I don't know if it's a South Jersey thing or a suburb thing, but y'all know everybody by their fucking first and last name. First and last name. Well, you know As what's a crazy? musician, you're supposed to. My I girl, don't know no nigga yo, in my check, hood, first and last name. Check really. it out. Check it out. So, I know, because my girl Mary that I talked about earlier, right? Yeah. She brought this to my attention as well. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, what's up with y'all musicians, you know, introducing each other by y'all first and last name? First I was like, name. first and foremost, as a as a band leader and you're performing in front of the audience, you know, you the audience Yeah, the audience wants to know who's playing drums, bass, keys, Jake, you know what I'm saying? From so, State Farm. Nah, man. So you don't you don't you don't introduce yourself as Will Wright. I uh, Will Wright. Yeah, I. <laughs> I don't play the drums. Nah. <laughs> like, it's, it's, no, I'm just saying like if I'm talking, yo, you, you know my boy Shane you like, wouldn't say Shay Davis. No. no. But that's how people know me, though. Yeah. Uh, like, I would say Kyle Mack. I wouldn't just say Kyle. Right. I'm like, yo, Kyle from... Pro- it's your Jane. identity, though. No. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's like 5,000 Kyles, but there's only one it's of them. You know what I mean? Hood. I didn't know his name until I met him on Facebook. Oh, wow. His name was Slow. For, for the Slow. F- <laughs> the whole high school, I knew mm. him as Slow. I found out his, <laughs> la- his first name is Darnell. Like, wow. Like, wow. And you never asked? No, we he call him care. Slow. He didn't care to ask. Who cares? My name was Big Will or Will. Like, Shout out to Donnell. <laughs> like, yeah, right like, down. what? Like, I didn't know that. So it's like, y'all be knowing everybody by their first and last. It's, it just, it, it, I understand now. Right. It is respect. Hey, Kevin, what you got? Uh, Will. Turn on your mic. Yes, sir. What's Will, going on? Um, North Jersey, it's um, all about nicknames. Exactly. Uh, I think okay. and down here, it's not so much. It's about, so we know everybody by nicknames. Well, I do got nicknames too. Up quick out here. I got nicknames too, but you know, when I'm on stage, you know, I got to let people know, you know, what's up. You no, know I what I'm saying? I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, we don't have much longer here, uh, but uh, where are you playing next, dude? So I actually have a new event that's going down in Philly at the spot called Silk City, which is in the Spring Garden area, Fifth and Spring Garden. City. Oh, yeah. Silk City. Yeah. I, gotta I call it. Yeah. I actually meant to hit you up. That, so my bad about that. But this happens every first Wednesday in uh, whatever month. You know what I'm saying? So every first Wednesday, no matter what date it is, we're always there. That's when he posted uh, Jacob uh, Collier was there. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Shout out to Dan Rouse, though. Hey, we'll talk about I that later. I just saw Dan yesterday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, where? Where were It was uh, Nick's Roast Beef. Uh, there was a, there was oh, a, I saw on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there was, he, was, he was going out to an open mic jam session. Are you going to pull it up? I know you're going to pull no, it up. No, no, All right. No. Pull it up. Pull it up. There, seems, right. there seems like there's a story back here. We'll, we'll do it off air. But. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll talk. I mean, yeah, whatever. But anyway, the, the event is called Studio Wednesdays, right? Yeah. So pretty much we treat Silk City like a big studio, right? Yeah. We have I have my house band of Lionel. John Smith, Kayla Childs. Not Richie, by the way. Yeah, not Richie. Okay. So <laughs> we don't got to do any of that. 
Uh, and all the sounds that you hear, well, first and foremost, we feature different artists every month. So every month we feature a new artist. So that's fun. But outside of that, all the sounds that you hear from the stage are completely improvised and made up in the moment. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Which is why we call it Studio Wednesdays, because if you're in a studio trying to come up with a track for a nice artist, you know, come up with different vibes, come up with different ideas. And we bring that live at Silk City every first Wednesday. Yeah, We've been doing it since November. And yeah, I got to tell you, man, I, I feel so bad for not hitting you up because this past one that we did, I think March 2nd, I think that was. It was crazy. We had some of the Roots guys come down. Oh, it was really? crazy. Oh, we wow. had uh, a lot of, you know, my boy Man Man, Eugene Man Man Roberts, wow. he came through. I was about to say, you better say Man Man yeah, first yeah, and yeah. last name. <laughs> say that right, <laughs> first and last uh, yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. Say Man Man first and last name. Eugene <laughs> Man Man Roberts came through, <laughs> yeah. and it was, right. just, it was just a vibe. You know what I'm saying? I don't allow cover songs, you know, for the jam session part of the night, you know, because no one's trying to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows Crazy by Nars Barkley. You know what I'm saying? It has the same lyrics no matter what, what kind of style you sing. It's the same thing. So what happens if you create lyrics on the spot? What happens if you come up with these chord changes on the spot? What happens if you come up with a beat on the spot? You know what I'm saying? That's different. Yeah, yeah it's that's totally different. different. And that's something, you know, it's more creative. You know, yeah. it forces you to be Talent. creative. So we've been doing this since November and we ain't fucking stopping, man. So awesome. every first Wednesday. That's that's all right. Well, y'all go throw a rockets, a venue somewhere and you'll run into Hero Turf. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> Silk City, bro. <laughs> y'all give it up for him. Hey, we're going to go to a quick break. Yeah. We're going to go to a quick break. Yeah. Yes. We just talked about that much mouth shit earlier, didn't we? Yeah. 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 <laughs> we're back with more Tri Jam. Don't go anywhere. Woo. Yeah. All right, it's that time. It's time for Rock's Rants. What's up, y'all? What's good? What's hey, up, what's up, Rock? What's going on, man? Hey, Rock. Hey, hey. We got new faces in the building. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Stormy P is joining us today as a guest host. So That's what's up. Her That's first good. time she experiencing Rock's Rants. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? She has color to the room. I feel like we all... God. Forget it. That went over everybody's head. All I said was she adds color to the room. What the, the, the lipstick? I, I mean, a little flavor. I kind of feel like it was racist, brother. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> you know, it came from your mouth. It was, it was... Well, listen, and, and for real, for real, because it's, it's Women's History Month. Okay. So okay. We gotta we gotta honor the women in history for all that they have done. We just came off of Black History Month, and they really kicked us out of that real quick. Preach. They ain't even linger. They don't ever linger with Black History Month. <laughs> We linger with everything else. Y'all keep your Christmas decorations up till about March, April. But February, as soon as February 28th, 1159, it's over. <laughs> so we right into Black uh, Women's History Month. We got to honor Except on women. leap years, Rock. Except on leap years. Whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't even matter. Either way, y'all don't linger. <laughs> y'all don't keep Black History Month into March, April, May. Y'all cut it right off. And here we are. Women's History Month. So let's honor some of the women who have bought us some wonderful things. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're ready for it. Mm -hmm. Dr. Shirley Ann Jackson happens to be a black woman. She invented the caller ID. Mm. Mm. That okay. y'all, yeah, figures a black woman would do something like that. <laughs> and call waiting. Ain't gonna keep tying up my line. Yeah. Ain't gonna keep tying. Y'all remember back in the day when you, yeah. had, when you would call mm-hmm. and the line would be busy? Mm-hmm. Black mm-hmm. women put it into that. <laughs> black women did that. A uh, black woman invented the security, uh, home security. For real? Oh, wow. uh, Marie Van Br- uh, Britton. That's crazy. Invented home security. Marie you're Van Britton. Stop breaking into my house. <laughs> That's what you're going to do. You're going to stop breaking into my house. Well, a black woman invented that. It was a white woman that invented Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> Long ass game. That's crazy. But uh, we we can't forget some of the mishaps uh, of uh, of women. And this, in my mind, will go down in history as probably the most ridiculous and dumbest thing a woman has ever done. And it happens to be a black woman that did it. And that is the Gorilla Glue Girl. <laughs> Let's not ever forget <laughs> Tessica Brown, the Gorilla Glue Girl, who thought that because she wanted her hair to be fried, dyed, and laid to the side, that it was a good idea to put some Gorilla Glue in her hair. Mm. <laughs> no. Now, all the advancement women have made, she had taken women back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, taking man. women back with that one. So we want to honor all the, the advancements and all the declines of women for this month. Mm. So today I honor all of y'all, including Tessica Brown, on Women's History Month. Mm. Mm. Is there any special? Let's give it up for them, y'all. Yeah. Let's just give it up Amen. for all of them. Any special women in your life that you want to honor, Rock? Uh, yeah, I want to honor. I want to honor my mother for giving birth to me. That was that was wonderful. 
uh, the world was never the same mm-hmm. and never be the same after I came to the world. So our, I want to honor my our brother. studio will never be the same. Absolutely not. Yes. Absolutely yes. not. I want to honor my wife for for marrying me. That was the wisest decision she ever made. <laughs> <laughs> Does she know you that? Never make a smarter decision than that. Damn, you you remind her of that every day, don't you? I have to. I have to let her know, you know what a what a smart woman she is. Mm-hmm. You know, very intelligent black woman. <laughs> I I tell her all the time. I admire you. You make smart decisions, mm-hmm. and that's why I married you, and that's why you married me. Right. And mm-hmm. she's blessed to have me. Mm-hmm. And she's not in the room to hear me say that right now, but she needs to be here to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, that's all I got for y'all, man. Y'all fellas, y'all doing okay? Y'all doing yeah, good? I'm living. Yeah, I turned 30, Rock. Oh, 30, Rock. Yeah. That's a show. Damn. Oh you just realized that? That's the name of the show, 30, Rock. It's also... 30, Rock. 30, Rock. Yeah, you look good, Kyle. You're doing all right. You know, you know, most white guys, they start to decline in their 30s. You know, yeah. start looking like they're in their 40s. No. <laughs> my hairline, doing all right. My hairline left early, though. That's the one oh, thing. Right. It can just be worse. That's the shit they fuck with me. I heard they're like... like I don't know. I love black women because they age like fine wine. And I know that me being a white person, yeah, it's going to be it. tough. It's going to be tough growing old because she's going to age like fine wine. I know I'm going to age like milk. It's going to be a very, very <laughs> difficult thing in comparison, I think. Jeez. No, you're going to age like almond milk. Almond milk? <laughs> you know, you got a little you flavor. You're going to age like almond milk. This is little, because you, you got a little soul in you, man. You do. Yeah. You eat a lot of collard greens and, and cornbread. So Not I, as I much as I'd like. Not as much as I'd like. I need more collard yeah. greens in my life. Well, all right. Well, it's good to know, see you, Rock. Good to see you, Let's go ahead, <laughs> see you guys too, man. Y'all yeah. look good. Yes, That's sir, Rock's bro. rants. All right. All right, y'all. Love y'all. Be good. Love you all too, right. bro. All right, we're back from the break, y'all. It's Try Jam. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Try Jam. Y'all give it up for Hero Turf, Turf, man. He was a great Ray. guest. Oh, yeah. Good dude, oh, yeah. Good dude. I'm upset, man. I forgot to ask him what that mouth do. You know, I feel like the saxophone, like, it's really like a big, got a lot of mouth muscles you got to use. That's what they say? So, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. On the streets, anyway. Okay. You ever been with a horn player, Storm? I have not. I have never been with a anything player, ex- mm. except for these bitches, like a, a player. <laughs> like, mm. They play bitches. bitches? Yeah, they play bitches. Okay. That's it. Mm. So you've never tried a musician? No, 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 no. For real? Yeah, I'm gonna find me a violin player. You might like the rhythm. They like they 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 keep rhythm. <laughs> Sound like a nigga selling himself right now. You had a nigga play the bongos on you. Those those inside beats. Yo, yo. They stupid. Yeah, yeah. So it's been a great show. I think. Thank you once again, Stormy, for coming by no tonight worries, and helping us so out. Fun. Gotta come back. Yes. yes. So are, are we gonna see you next week? Yeah, I'll be here. All right, cool beans. Really? Yeah, she's gonna be with us for a little bit. Amen. For a little oh, bit. Shit. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, Remember, yeah, oh, what she get? She needs a name for the church. She needs a name for the church. Oh, oh yes. you gotta think about that. You got yeah. two seconds. That's no all right. pressure. No pressure. Well, we do gotta go because we we uh, we're running a little bit behind or a little late. But before we go, As we gotta do this. Does. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. What's going on, people? Amen. Welcome to the Church of Tri Jam. Clap it up for yourself for being here. We really appreciate it. Let's go around the room at the moment. We got Deacon Dan in the back, back there. Give it up for Deacon yeah. Dan. We appreciate you being each and every. You know you got a long drive, son. You got a long drive. Also, we normally have Kevin White. Well, we got white cat. Oh, no, my fault. You had to reverse. My fault. Yeah, reverse, reverse that. Yeah. My dyslexia kicked in. You're really back. not helping Kevin's racial oh, ambiguity. Kevin, <laughs> Kevin White is not here. I mean, a white Kev is not here, but Kevin White is here, everybody. Right. Give it up for the mixed baby of the room. <laughs> this he, thing, I don't think the nigga's mixed. It's he's just, not mixed at all. <laughs> he just got good hair. That's, and he's very light skinned. Yeah, it, it's, it's, he's fair skinned as a motherfucker, as a black guy. All right, moving right along. Uh, give it up. For uh, Cal Mickety Mickety Mac, the uh, minister of AV and audio, uh, you know, f- you know what? I feel like we should start over. <laughs> <laughs> no, my boy got tongue tied. It don't Come matter. Time. All right, moving right along. Uh, I know you see a new face in the room. Normally, it's mother sitting there, but we have a new person sitting there at the moment. She's <laughs> gonna go by Sister SP. Sister S-P. S-P. Amen. S-P. Amen. S-P. S-P. Wow. Wow. Stormy P. 
Okay. Okay. Just the SP. No, that's cool. Just the SP. I just feel like new that's all right. She, that's she's, all a, right. she's a new member. She's still the sister. The sister. Man. She's a sister. That's all right. All right. Uh, she ain't fucking with nobody here, so she not a DNS or anything. <laughs> so we just gonna keep it as a sister. All right. Moving right along. Also, we have uh, Pastor Shade Fine. Davis Amen. here, everybody. Pass the chafing, chafing. Chafing, chafing. Pass the chafing, chafing. All right. Uh, moving right along, we had some good things happening today in the church. We had a guest. Uh, a guest was a sax. What he play saxophone? He does. Yes. Uh, and uh, Sister uh, SP wanted to know something. Uh, uh, and I don't know if that's good for the church or not, Pat, but she wanted to know what that young man mouth did. Yeah, <laughs> she didn't want to ask. You know, uh, I, I don't. I tell you that. I tell you that. What I don't want to know. I tell you that. Uh, also, in the church this week, we having a women's month. So this month, we are doing a women's retreat. Ooh, we having a women's retreat. Oh, I can't go. Yeah, because you're not a woman. Right, uh, damn it. I was excited for a second. Yeah, yeah. I was. I'm. I'm able to go because I'm gonna help set up the chairs. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go set up the chairs and walk them down. The That's aisle, very convenient. See different things and see what they got going on. I'm yeah, hoping they have a good guest speaker mm. with a little yam on. That's, that's what I'm hoping for Pastor I don't know If you want to come And set up some chairs With me or not But it'd be great Two I'm, players I might go From the Himalayas Sit down Show up Show up well, you, Why, you know why what? am I not invited you, you know what You do need somebody To set up the mics Alright thank you How about that Renato? I'll ask Get some of that Turn, turn on the PA system yep, Get on some of that and, uh, Right that's, uh, We can serve the women With some uh, I would like to give them A little bit of this meat Well but, uh, Well uh, I don't know <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's okay though, Pastor. Uh, just moving right along. Uh, <laughs> we had some uh, some things in, uh, talking about on the show. Uh, some of the gross words that when people hear. Yes. Uh, my favorite one was uh, what was it again? Uh, I don't know what your favorite splooge, was. Splooge. Splooge. Yeah, yeah, splooge. Uh, we, do you want to give a definition again? What you said it was? Uh, the projectile of liquid. What was uh, projecting it? liquid. Projecting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, pretty much. Uh, <sighs> Ropes of love. Yeah, ropes of love, uh, some cummy stuff. Yes, mm. yes, some sticky stuff. Mm. Shoot on your back. <laughs> Maybe your face. Shoot on your back. Shoot on your backpack. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that, young man. I forgot about. It. Also, we had a, a dummy inside of the uh, scoop. A young man. The uh, scoop. My fault. I'm, I'm sorry, but we had a dummy inside the guard. Was the garbage bag? Yes. Uh, you know what? Because he need to be put in the fucking garbage. <laughs> we need to put that out there. Uh, he stuck. Uh, uh, I, was that an iPhone charger? Do we know? It's it was a USB. USB cord. Was it USB just a cord. USB cord? But yeah. what was the other end? It could have been for an iPhone, a C charger, yeah. uh, or, or a lightning, lightning charger, right. or something of the sort. I hope it wasn't an Apple Watch. I'm going to be mad if it was a <laughs> micro mini. <laughs> oh. You get what I'm saying? If it's oh. that. But anyway, he stuck it. Well, it made it easier. Yeah. That. I guess. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Either. But he stuck it in. Huh. <laughs> In, in his thing. In his thing. Aretha. And his Aretha. Aretha. And his Aretha, uh, Aretha. And his Aretha, Aretha Franklin. <laughs> his Johnson, young man. He's stuck, Aretha stuck Franklin it. Johnson. He stuck it in there. That thing, it was in there and it was balled into a knot. Pray for him. Pray uh, for him. I don't think he need prayer. He need help. Yeah. He need more than prayer. This is the thing. They said it cut. Through the gooch. By the gooch, right? Right. So did they pull so the other end finished wrapping going through? So or did for, they cut it on both ends? What I didn't get to the story was that they had snipped <laughs> off they snipped <laughs> off the plugs on the <laughs> other end <laughs> and then pulled the parts from the body out. Now he <laughs> gotta go to five and below and get another goddamn charger. Oh my god. Look at this. <laughs> another, Fucked up the charger, young man. Another cheater cable. Oh my god. We need <laughs> to find out the uh the uh the nationality of that young man. Because if he's <laughs> black, he fucked us up. I'm gonna tell you that right now. He set us back. He set us back. The whole church had to Oh, he's English though. <gasps> what the fuck that mean? He got black people over what there. What does that too. mean, bruv? I'm just saying it's just that it's not American <gasps> crazy, it's UK ah. crazy. I take that. Yeah, okay. I take that. He's going through some things right now. Yeah. He must be going through some. But anyway, so he on a sick and shut in list. Oh, yeah, he definitely is going to get some prayer. Well, he definitely <laughs> needs something that or somebody need to lay hands on him cuz he's stupid as fuck. <laughs> All right. Jesus. Moving right along. We Jesus. appreciate y'all each and every week coming to the Church of Tri Jam or Tri Jam podcast. Make sure you follow us on everything at uh, Try Jam Podcast as YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, uh, Instagram, your mama uh, house, all uh, everything. Okay, we there. Uh, we selling. Well, we. I think we need to get some church pies or something out or something soon. It but we appreciate shit. y'all coming out, listening, and paying attention. Make sure you check us out each and every week on a Wednesday. Thank yes, you. on a brand new day. Brand new day. Uh, Pat, can you close this out? Cause it's hot. 
is uh help. Uh, it's just hot to you. It's hot as shit. <laughs> the devil's in here today, man. You look like you're melting. The devil's in the head. It's atmosphere. not even summertime yet, brother. We don't even. You look got like a minute. melting chocolate bar right God now. Golly. This is a Baptist church. That's why it's so hot here. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Uh, tonight, I just want to say, God sometimes has to break you in order to build you. You know, that, that the time frame where you might be going through some things. I think it's breaking will right now. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. It's going to build you. It's going to build you up. good right now. <laughs> <laughs> all hearts and minds clear tonight. Yes. Uh, is the church with me? No. Yes. Damn, no, it's time to go home. All right, uh, <laughs> now may the grace of God this week give me another Holy Spirit. We want you to rest, rule, and abide with us henceforth now and forevermore. Let the church of Tri Gems say amen. 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 All right, oh, folks, that's shit. our show. Thank you for listening to the live stream. Thank you for watching the pot. Wait, I said that backwards. That? Whatever. We'll see you next time. Later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>